Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Sparkle & Co. December subscription bag, and I'll be sharing how to create this simple manicure using the products inside, so let's get right into the video. Alright, so here is a look at the little fun bag that came with the subscription. This has the swatches and informational card. So here is a look at what this subscription entails. The theme is Aurora Borealis and I think that is super pretty and I was definitely excited to see the colors that this theme included. And here are those swatches I was talking about earlier. There is also a really pretty sticker along with some cute paper cutouts. So the liquid of the month was Gel Protect, and this is a gel liquid that does need to be cured. And then I also received a Crystal Clear Dip Powder as well, which is super helpful for encapsulating. Along with these flakes called Solar Flares, which are absolutely beautiful. And then here is the nail polish for this month. This one is called Aurora, and it's a super beautiful purple flake. And now I'm going to be moving into the four gel polishes. So this first one is called Panoramic Picture and it's a really beautiful green and purple micro glitter. Here is the next gel polish shade. This one is called Violet Curves and this is a metallic purple. Here is the third gel polish. This one is called Kaleidoscope Colors and it's a really beautiful iridescent flake. And then here is a look at the last gel polish color. This one is called Dawn of the North and it is a really beautiful blue. And here are the dip powders. This one is Birthday Fierce because it was my birthday in December. Here is Illuminate the Night I Want It All color. Here is Solar Particles, a really fun purple. Royal Phenomenon, another purple shade. Northern Lights, a glow and temperature changer. Hashtag Aurora Borealis, another flake color. Surreal Sky, a really dark, beautiful blue. And Solar Opposites, a super fun pink and green glitter. I am going to be starting off with my Clean and Prep Natural Nails. And I'm first going to go in with a thin layer of my Sparkle & Co. pH Prep Liquid. And this is going to dehydrate the nail surface and prep it for the dip application. And I actually did apply a layer of my Hello Taco Peely Base Coat off camera. I just didn't show it in the video for some reason. I'm not quite sure why I didn't film that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be using the shade Northern Lights, which is SB193, along with my Sparkle & Co. Base Bond Liquid to do the base dip powder color. So I decided that I wanted to do sort of a more simple dip powder look for this manicure. So I'm actually just going to be doing two coats of this shade onto all of my nails. And then I was really intrigued by those solar flakes that I shared at the beginning of the video. And I knew I wanted to incorporate those into this manicure somehow. And I ended up doing a gradient from the cuticle on two of the nails. And I think it turned out really neat, especially with this color as the base. So I'm just doing my normal dip application routine to apply this color. And that means I'm applying a thin layer of base to my entire nail, dipping my nail into the powder and then brushing off any excess once the powder is fully dry on my nail. Now I do want to note, typically the Sparkle & Co. formula is very easy to work with. It's super buttery smooth and it goes onto the nails very easily. And this color wasn't an exception to that. However, since it is a glow powder and a temperature changer, the consistency is slightly different. It's a little bit more packable, if that makes sense. Um, you can kind of see just by looking at it that it's a little bit more um, like dense and can be packed down. I'm not quite sure how to like explain it, but it's not as smooth as some of the other powders. But actually going onto the nail, it's completely fine. You just have to mix it up and make it a little bit more fluffy for application. So I do want to mention that. Um, besides that though, I really had no issues with the application. The color was completely opaque in two coats and I was super happy with the coverage.
And now that the color application is complete, I'm going to clear encapsulate all of my nails using my Sparkle Co. Crystal Clear Powder. And I'm just going to be doing a thin layer of this over all of my nails. Now, in all of my videos, typically I recommend clear encapsulating when using dip powder. It's just a step I do in all of my dip powder manicures, and I really think it protects the color underneath from filing, especially if you have a flake or glitter dip powder. Now, since this is a solid color, it's not as necessary, but I still think it works to keep the color underneath really even and uh, make sure that we don't file away any of that pigment. So I would still recommend this step, and the Sparkle & Co. Crystal Clear Powder works especially great for this technique. And once all of the powder layers are complete, I'm going to activate using my Sparkle & Co. Solidify Liquid. And I applied two generous layers of this to all of my nails to fully harden up the powder and make it ready for filing. And like always, I did go ahead and file off camera just to save a little bit of time. And here you can see I really didn't do much filing, the application was generally pretty smooth already. And after filing and brushing off any of the excess dust, I am going to seal in my nails using my Nail Addict No Wipe Top Coat. And I'm going to be doing this before I apply the flakes onto my nails so that they have something to stick onto. So I'm going to be applying a nice thin layer of this to all of my nails and then curing for 30 seconds once I'm happy with the application. And here I just wanted to show you sort of the color change with this shade. You can see it goes to sort of a lighter green color. I didn't really capture the full effect, but it does have a color shift, which is super unique. And now, like I said, I'm going to be using those beautiful flakes to do a gradient design on two of my nails. So I'm just taking an eyeshadow applicator to pick up some of the flakes, and then I gently push them into the top coat. Now this top coat is fully cured, there is no tacky layer. Um, but the flakes do tend to stick onto the top coat regardless, so I think this is a good method. Otherwise, if you have a sort of like tacky polish, you can use that as well. But this is the method that I found worked for me. So I'm just going to be doing that on these two nails, and you can really see that gorgeous color shift within those flakes. And once I'm happy with the application of the flakes on my nails, I'm going to seal them in with another layer of top coat. And this is just going to make sure that they stay intact and are super shiny. So after applying that top coat, I'm going to cure one more time for 30 seconds. And then of course, like I always do, I'm going to apply my Happy Cuticle Coat Oil to my nails and skin to rehydrate them. And here is a picture so you can sort of see the color shift of the flakes. They are absolutely stunning. And here is a look at the finished manicure I was able to create using my Sparkle & Co. December sub bag. So I'm really happy with how these turned out. I think they are simple yet really beautiful and definitely perfect for the winter months. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are interested in any products used in this video or my discount codes with Sparkle & Co, I will be sure to leave that information in my description. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.